plays games with Steve and Angel. Corrida's hotel room. It's past 9 p.m. already, isn't it? I wonder... I wonder if Miss Jadworth has already found Mystic Maya. What was that accent, Pearl? <laughs> no, I, I just like... I'm a aspiring voice actor. Oh, you know, I think you got a future in it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> These things take time. You getting into voice work. Wonderful voice actor. <laughs> wonderful Pearl. <laughs> Could she be any more talented? Wonderful Pearl? I'd say probably not. Um, the police are professionals, Pearls. They'll find her, so don't you worry. And if we can win a not guilty verdict tomorrow, then everything will be okay. You're right. All right. But now I'm saying. No shit. Uh, is this like the I think default you, talk, or do we actually? I think you should talk to. All right. Oil. I think so too. So the real person who killed Mr. Corrido was the assassin, Mr. Shelley the Killer, right? And the card Miss Andrews found at the crime scene seems to be proof of that. But if that's the case, then a new question comes to mind: Who was the one that hired the killer to begin with? Who was his client? I just love this grown man, like fully like th theorizing about a murder case with like an eight-year-old child. <laughs> you mean who asked for the murder? That person didn't want dirty, uh, want to dirty their own hands and blood. Whoever this client is, they're still a killer. She's just like one, two, buckle my shoe, <laughs> three, four, pick up the floor, five, six, <laughs> don't play tricks, seven, eight, clean your plate, is nine, ten, all over again. Francisco's like joining along. <laughs> who, who could have hired the assassin? Do you think it was Miss Andrews? I wonder. But if she was a client, then why go through that effort to stab the knife into the corpse herself? And just fuck up an entire crime scene. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. But if Miss Andrews wasn't the client, then no, it can't be. Matt on guard himself? Was it? I thought that said, what is a Matt? What, what is, is a Matt? A Matt? It's a, a miserable pile of secrets, yeah. <laughs> if Mr. Angari really did hire the assassin... Then he's not innocent at all. Far from it. He would be guilty of the crime. But, but it can't be Mr. Angari, right? I mean, when we first talked with him... Mr. Angari, I'd like to... Uh, what was our fantasy, like, past voice for him? Was like, know. Mr. Angari, I'd like to ask you one more question. Did you kill Mr. Juan Corrida? <laughs> Can you repeat that for me? What the hell did you just say? <laughs> I didn't see any psychwalks at that time. Actually, that reminds me. Did you remember something, Mr. Mick? <laughs> I, remember, I remember Matt on card sounded like a real fucked up Donald Duck. <laughs> Yeah, something Miss Andrews said at the trial today. She said something interesting. Both of you do your per do a pearl voice. Can you do this voice? I can do that voice. Just a little bit. Just a little down here. Like, I was like, gonna go a little higher though if I did her voice. I don't know. A chance, like a little chance. All right, I, I regret asking. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> something interesting. Um. So why is this interesting thing? Shrimp dressing. Oh. Shrimp resting. Oh, that's right. You didn't hear it, did you, Pearls? Oh, gosh. What would hers be? One bad bet everything on the Jam and Ninja this year. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do many. Oh, oh that was oh. many. Oh. I, thought, I thought that was Carl oh, Weezer. Oh, oh, if you lost the Grand P, you were going to make sure Matt was going down with him. Oh, that's what he thought anyway. Oh, 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 Mickey. oh Mickey. Go ahead, do your, do your mini. It looks like somehow... Wanted in his hands a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh Mickey! No. Mr. Ungard's secret? What is this secret? Um, I don't know yet. But for now, let's think about it this way. Mr. Corrida was going to reveal his secret. That means Mr. Ungard had plenty of motive to have Mr. Corrida silenced. Hmm. 
which means we have to meet with Mr. On Guard. There's no way around it now. Let's talk to this motherfucker. Yo, let's talk to this motherfucker. Um, oh. But first. A distraction. Wow, it's really getting late, isn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it's past 9 p.m. already. But we still have some things to prepare for tomorrow's trial. There's still the matter of this secret Miss Corita held uh, against, uh, about Mr. On Guard. And Miss Andrews' real intentions. These are two things I must know tonight. But aren't visiting hours over at the detention center? Hmm, I'm sure we'll think of something, Pearls. Now don't you worry. We'll just wake him up. We'll just shake him a little bit. Um... Oh. <laughs> hey, wait! What is it, Whippersnapper? All I know is nothing that has anything to do with you is ever good! Like just now, I was handed a strange device for who knows what reason. And I was told to use it to search the whole hotel! That's the Bug Sweeper, isn't it? The one Gumshoe made. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care. But the request came from Edgy Poo, so... Edgeworth? And he said... <laughs> if you feel angry, direct your anger at that unsophisticated lawyer. So I'm gonna feel free to direct all my anger towards you! Ugh. She thinks a bundle, Edgeworth. What a pal you are. What a pal you are. You got a pal. You've got a pal in me. <laughs> you got a friend in me. You've got a pal in me. Oh, I sure do. When the road is rough ahead. You're miles. And you're miles and miles from your... Miles. Miles and miles Edgeworth <laughs> from your nice warm bed. This is absolutely top secret, so you'd better keep it to yourselves. I heard they found a spy camera hidden one of the presents. Hmm, very shrimp yeah, dressing. I want to hear more Randy Newman songs. I'm like, <laughs> Strange things are happening to me. Strange things. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about it. <laughs> there is certainly no doubt about it. I'm sure it was, you know. It was... <laughs> Clearly I will go sailing no more. It was to catch poor Juan in the middle of a scandalous meeting. I love LA. <laughs> we love it. Scandalous. What's that? I think he would do like spoken word karaoke. Yeah. Like Shatner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he means, well, you know, that gossip that's been going around about my dear Juan. Oh, you mean that thing about Miss Andrews. But I'm sure she must have had some reason for getting close to Miss Corey, though. I'll let you in on another secret, young'un. I know who planted that spy camera. It was that obnoxious, puffy-haired photographer girl. The nerve of some people. They need to lay off her hair. Spying on people by herself? As if I wouldn't want to see it for myself, too. Wow, the alien actually admitted her true intentions for a change. I don't know what you're thinking exactly, but I can bet it it's nothing good. But I didn't say anything. Except that I say all my thoughts out loud. So you want to know about Juan and that manager, right? Sorry, I had to pull up these little convenient photos for you. <laughs> Actually, as I hear it, they were something of a refreshing pair, those two. She just like tapes. She's like finger puppets them. or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, they're together. <laughs> oh? I tell you, Juan really welcomed that manager with open arms, I heard. That manager? Who are you talking about? You don't know? That manager woman Juan had. It's a shame she killed herself, though. Can we get another picture of her, please? <laughs> oh, you're talking about Miss Celeste Impacts, Miss Andrew's mentor, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. That Celeste girl. She was supposed to get married, you know. M married? You mean to Mr. Corrida? <sighs> really, you young kids today don't know anything, do you? That girl Celeste killed herself three days after the marriage announcement. Oh, shit. Three days after the marriage announcement? Oh, shit. What in the... Why would Miss Impact want to kill herself? She was going to get married. Well, that's because she was thrown away, you see, by Juan. What? But they were going to get married, right? They promised each other, right? They held a grand announcement session, but... Three days later, Juan suddenly canceled their marriage. I is that true? It was in the weekly magazines. But why? Why did he do that? That was not in the magazines, unfortunately. I see. 
<laughs> that night after Juan called off the wedding, that manager, Celeste, killed herself. How terrible. I wish I would not laugh at this photo, but it just keeps popping up. I wonder what happened between those two. Um, can we get more out of her, or...? Yeah, you could move on. Thank Don't worry about it. Thank you, wizard? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you and not uh, Patient Patrick or whoever. No, Patient O'Reilly. Patient O'Reilly. Oh, Angel, you're doing a fine job tonight. You oh, know, why don't you head over to the criminal affairs department? Well, maybe here for Let's take a little sit here. Enjoy the cameras. Okay. On that night, there must have been at least a few hundred people here. Hmm. I guess the police are done with their questioning and investigating. Looks like things here in the lobby have finally calmed down. So let's get the fuck out of here, I guess. Uh, all right. You, you, you said the, the criminal affairs department. Okay. Thank you, Mr. O'Reilly. No problem, Angel. I... Hi. A <laughs> boony rabbit. It feels sort of tense in here, doesn't it? Missing like all these Irish cops. <laughs> I, a blue badger. And now I'm going to sing the blue badger song. <laughs> da 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 ha 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 Oh, Danny boy. <laughs> if I were a badger, I'd batch, batch, batch. Batch, 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 batch. If... All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does. Uh, I wonder if something happened. Yeah, go ahead, Stephen. You, you're Mr. Hungard's lawyer, right? Wow, they keep... Uh, you're in and out, all these chiefs, huh? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> this is the police station Irish town. <laughs> <laughs> well, we finally found just the person we've been looking for. A real decisive witness. A decisive witness? You mean for Mr. Ongard's case? We're taking the witness's statement right now. Gotta hand it to Mr. Edgeworth. What's Edgeworth up to now? Who is this witness? I think you know this person quite well, Mr. Lawyer. Mr. Nick? Between the kidnapper's demand and now this, can't see any way to win here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mr. Edgeworth wanted me to tell you something. He did? Even though visiting hours are long over at the detention center, he wanted me to grant you special permission. So there you go. Huh? Eh? Hey. I've already called them so they know. <laughs> go on. Go talk to your heart. Uh, go talk to your heart's content. Uh, thank you very much. This is such good news, Mr. Nick. Oh no, I rubbed off on you. Yeah. I'm oh. a really impressionable young girl. Um, I mean, you sure? Young lass. Yeah, go talk to your heart's content. Sounds like the police are pretty sure they have tomorrow's trial in the bag. Uh, I can't do an accent, you guys. I can't do it. All right. Close the detention center. So they just woke his ass up. It's still daytime in this sprite. Uh, a little inaccurate. Uh, I'm sure they must have transferred Miss Andrews here by now. So that means that both Mr. On Guard and Miss Andrews are in this de in this detention center. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? Uh, Hmm. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry to be visiting at such a late hour. Who gave you that book? Oh, come on. We've seen people have a bunch of things in there. Yeah, I know. Whoa, 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 a book? <laughs> I don't think so, you criminal. <laughs> no learning on my watch. There are a few questions I absolutely have to ask you tonight. Me? I thought your client was mad. I'm sure Miss Andrews knows something. She can't be clueless about the secret Mr. Corita had on Mr. Ongard. Hmm. Do do do. Matt Ongard. Do, 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 do. I'd like to ask you about Matt Ongard, if you don't mind. Mr. Wright, you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean. Hmm. You seem to bear a lot of resentment towards Mr. Ongard. If that's the case, then why did you become his manager? Why would you become intimate with his rival? That has nothing to do with this case. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. You'll only see air. <laughs> About Miss Celeste Impacts. <laughs> I'd finally put her death behind me. And now, thanks to you, it's all come back to the surface. I... I'm sorry. 
Don't show it again. Oh. <laughs> yes, I was shocked by your suicide. I'm sure you still are too. And it's true that when I heard the rumor uh, that Juan was the one who had in her suicide note, I began to draw close to him. I wanted to get her suicide note back and to burn it. You wanted to burn it? But why? I didn't want it to spread just like another piece of gossip. But I never held any murderous intent towards Juan. I would never do something so stupid. A suicide note, huh? I wonder what it said. Why did you try to frame Mr. On Guard? That's simple. Because he's a killer. That's why. Isn't it the duty of every good citizen to inform the police? But, but there had to be another way. The police are excellent at doing their job. Mm, wow. <laughs> Couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're excellent. So they figured it out, right? Yes, they're so good that they couldn't figure out that the real truth behind Celeste's death. Miss Andrews. Well, um, I know you're not the type of person to do something without a reason. So please, tell me why you did what you did. Revenge. <gasps> huh? Did you say something just now? Oh. Oh, just one. Just one oh. little. Over her heart. <laughs> A psyche lock, huh? Don't you understand yet? You're not my lawyer. To be honest, you're more, you're more like my enemy. But... I'm sure I just heard Miss Andrews say... Revenge. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, wait, I have to go to present. Okay, see, I did the quick menu and it you didn't You know, have... you can just actually get out of here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so wait, how do I get... Get out of here. Mr. Oh, I, to, I literally have to visit. Get out of here. Just get, just get, get out, out of here. Get out. Go get to out. criminal affairs. Oh. Well, whatever. It doesn't look like Mr. Scrappy Detective is here. Well, he's out there with that camera asking around at all the electronic stores. Then I'll make some salad for him for dinner. Oh, Looks like Pearls really appreciates what Gumshoe is doing for us. Let's make him a fruit salad. Um, Mr. Nick? Hmm? Yes? Where is the lettuce? I don't think I've ever bought lettuce before. Wow. Oh, I guess I have to give up on making a salad then. I guess the lack of lettuce is kind of a problem. Awesome. Hmm. Gotta love that that bright that bright moonlight at 9 p.m. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is actually concerning. Like the moon, it's like the Majora's mask moon. Yeah. Oh god. Just blinding them. Go back to the criminal affairs department. Okay. Why not? Oh, Mr. Rat, please, you have to help me. Uh oh. Mr. Powers. What happened? Why are you here? I... You know, I was going, I was going on half Irish. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Yeah, was here what happened? Us. Why are you here? Uh, you see, I got roped into this somehow. What? And now I'm going to testify at tomorrow's trial. So the decisive witness is Mr. Powers? I was talking with the detective until a little while ago. I was on my way home. But all of a sudden, you there! You're under arrest! I was brought back here. Uh, oh. They said my face and whole self in general looked suspicious or something. Wow. Mm, well, I, I guess I can see how they thought you looked suspicious. No, I can't! Oh no, yeah, oh no, the, the, the woman dressed up as a fucking Martian, and, you know, <laughs> that's all, you know... You there! Yeah, you look suspicious! Oh. It's like, <laughs> move along, move on. Wait a minute, you big freak! <laughs> You big freak. Uh, I'm just a normal guy on an exercise show for kids. Just normal. Is that men. a crime? We're just normal men. God. <laughs> it's about this testimony you're giving. What are you going to talk about? Uh, I really don't know yet. But it sounds like I saw something pretty important from what they tell me. You saw something important? What was it? Oh, well, the detectives told me not to talk about it. Can't tell anyone, especially not that lawyer, he said. 
Who do you think is that lawyer the detective was talking about? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's me. Y yeah you got it. Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya and myself are your only two allies in this whole world, but it's all right. Ouch. I don't really have a lot of friends, do I? Mm, you don't. You, got, you don't have a friend in me. <laughs> you do not have You don't have a friend in me. <laughs> <laughs> when the road is rough ahead, you're fine. <laughs> Deal with it on your own. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to do... <laughs> Just remember what your, uh, me, your acquaintance said. We're not friends. <laughs> this is going to do a lot of damage to Matt, you know. Because he's got that refreshing like a spring breeze image going. But what is he really like? Well, let's see. That's always been kind of a player with women. Ew. You would never really turn a pretty face away, if you know what I mean. The player part, I mean, you know. Player's gonna play. He always just, he'd always say, it's just a game. <laughs> it's just genie. Genie. It's just a game, genie. It's just a game, genie. <laughs> oh, maybe you shouldn't lie. Maybe you shouldn't say you're a prince. Be yourself. No, I like games. Anyway, it's just a game to justify himself. This is his uh, impression of Aladdin, you guys. Oh, they know. Oh, they know. Oh, 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 they know. Oh, they know. What? That impression? How horrible. That's unforgivable. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. But, you know, he said once that there's only one person in the world who won't swoon over me. One person who won't swoon over him? His manager, you know. Miss Adrian Andrews. Why is Mr. Power suddenly looking kind of energetic. Wow. He's like, more for me. I got a chance. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm actually a sucker for gossip. Oh, jeez, me. I mean, celebrities in their world have this dazzling sort of image, right? A dazzling sort of image? Uh, but aren't you a part of that dazzle, Mr. Powers? No, I'm more of a hairy, sweaty, smelly, Brutish kind of a guy, you see. Oh, how terrible. Oh my god. Who <laughs> wouldn't want that? No. Oh, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, really. It, it, oh, yeah, it's more than fine. It's more than fine. Yeah. I had to hear plenty of gossip about a lot of the other stars around me as things happen. Well, that's true. Oh, hey. So, did you hear about this yet? About Miss Andrews' mentor and her suicide? You mean Miss Impacts? We heard something about how her wedding was cancelled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought about it a little... I thought about it a little the other day. About that mysterious death. Hey, Mr. Wright! Why don't you ask me about that? Go on, go ahead! Uh, Mr. Powers is so charged up about... Uh, his skin is practically glowing with energy. Or electricity, you know, he's... Turning Super Saiyan. Oh! <laughs> hey! So have you heard this? Hey, hey, so have you heard about, heard about this? You heard about this? <laughs> Wait, who is that? Show that disturbing image again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, yeah. what, what comedian is that? Jay Leno, right? Jay Le oh yeah. my God. You hear about this? You hear about this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Celeste, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, back to the serious uh, topic on hand. Celeste left a suicide note. Oh, don't show the image after this note. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have a copy in my wallet. You want to see it? No! Why does everyone have this picture? God! And they say that Juan went and hit it. We heard about that in court today. But there wasn't any actual proof that she had left a note. Well, this is what I think. I think that something bad was written on that note. Something bad for Juan, that is. Something bad, bad, really, really bad for Mr. Corita? <laughs> Why do you figure so? Well, before she died, Celeste talked with a few of her friends. And she said, It looks like I may have been caught by an insidious man. Sorry, there's a temporary blackout in the police station. We'll, uh, we'll get the lights <laughs> back on for you. Okay. We'll just... Oh, yeah, there you go. It's okay, he's glowing. It's literally luminescent. An insidious man? Did she mean Mr. Corita by that? No. She... Darth Sidious. <laughs> God. Join the dark side, Celeste. 
Well, there's no one else that fits the bill, right? And that would be reason enough for him to hide the suicide note. I see. Well, that's some good info. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Ungard and Miss Andrews. They're both at the detention center right now. There's still things I don't understand or know about, I'm sure. I have to go get the two of them to tell me everything. Alright, so now we can get the second half. I believe, I assume, yes, yes. You assumed right, Angel. Awesome. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? Let's talk to Andrew yet. If you clicked on an accident, I was going to strangle you on the couch. Um, that doesn't sound very in character for you. I'm sorry. Dude, it's Mr. Wright. I hope you can get me off the hook tomorrow. <laughs> I'm counting on you. I hope so, too. Hedgeworth just dropped a bombshell on me and said that Juan Corita was killed by an assassin and that assassin's client is this man, man on guard. What's wrong? Mr. On Guard, there's something I must know with 100% certainty. Hmm, you seem kind of different. You're totally not like your usual lawyer dude self. Your secret. Um, about the press conference. You mean the one where Juan was going to dress up as the Nickel Samurai? Yeah, I heard a little more about it from Ms. Andrews. It looked like somehow... Juan had in his hands a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. Oh, Mickey. <laughs> oh, Maddie. Oh, Maddie. Hmm. Could you please fill me in on what this secret is, please? Please. I'm trying to actually remember what she says because I did this funny voice and I just blank. Oh, my God. Well, if the voice is distracting, then, yeah, then focus yeah, yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You don't have to do a silly voice. <laughs> but I like to do I it. I knew this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nick, you don't tell me. Go for it. That psyche lock. You said a secret, right? You don't have any idea what it is, do you, dude? Yeah, I guess I don't know your fucking secret. Uh, I wonder why. A uh, secret! Secret! Dexter, secret! Dexter, secret! Did you know about Miss Sir Corita and Miss, uh, or Andrews' relationship? Well, it's all over the tabloids, dude. Uh, but I don't know any of the details, if that's what you mean. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't care what Juan did with his life. Miss Andrews. She had a purpose in mind when she started seeing Mr. Corita. Her mentor was Mr. Corita's manager. And Miss Andrews is going to get Miss Celeste Impact's suicide note for him. Suicide. Suicide. Celeste? That killer water slide at that park. <laughs> suicide. <laughs> oh, Opening for this summer. It's the suicide. It's the water slide that eats people. Suicide. <laughs> Is that jog? <laughs> go, go down a, a, a twelve-story drop. Oh God! It's a lazy river blades. of blood. <laughs> it's at a ninety-degree angle. <laughs> Somehow you survive. Someone will shoot you at the end. <laughs> Is that jogging any memories? Have either of you done an aqua loop? I'm, I'm talking no, about we, you and I have talked about this. Is that the one where you're just like on a tube that it's, goes? No, it's okay. the one where you are. You go inside a chamber, like a cylindrical chamber, and then and you're standing like this. Uh, they can't see me, but my hands, my arms are at my side. Mm -hmm. And then the platform under you just opens up and you just fall straight down. No. And you go through a loop. That oh. sounds Would you do it, Angel? Maybe, because I have gone through, I, I've been to Soak City before, and like I've been through like a certain slide that was like almost like claustrophobic, at least mm. like then. So I might try it. It's fun watching people go inside when they're scared. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you have like a freaking trap door that opens up underneath. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the scariest like water slide I've ever gone on is like the big ski lift looking slide that's you know, at Blizzard Beach in Disney World. Mm. Oh, I see. I think like the, the scariest part is just the queue is you just keep going up this thing. Yeah. You can see every landmark from every other park. Yeah. <laughs> that's how high up you are. Right. Then, okay, now. You know, lay lay down as far back as you can, <laughs> so, so you just shoot down this giant oh, slide. Oh God! It's fun. I want to do it. Oh, cool! I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it again? It was Blizzard like Beach. Is that like a Dairy Queen thing? <laughs> Sweet, dude. Oh, a Blizzard sounds good right now. Oh yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's 
You want to I... slurp some more? Oh yeah. Mm. Best Blizzard flavor. One, two, three. Oreo. Butterfinger. Oh, Oreo. I don't like Blizzards all that much. Oh, fucking this let's guy. Go. Uh, let's go. Let's go now. Yeah, let's go right now. Dude, I suddenly just got to. <laughs> you for some Dairy Queen did? <laughs> yeah, you up for a Blizzard McFlurry? Maybe? Nah. No. Want to make our own? You up for a pizza? My treat. Um, Mr. Nick, what's a pizza? Is it a kind of pea, like green peas? Oh, uh, let's go eat one later, okay? A big green pea. <laughs> ah. Pea soup. <laughs> <laughs> I got cut off by the pizza dude at the shop. That's too bad. Well, how about we get our minds off this topic and talk about something else, okay? Mr. strong guard. Are you connected to Miss Impact's suicide in some way? Wow. Well, ain't giving a shit. Okay. Am I able to... Why don't you go back to uh, right and call or something? Or head back that way, kind of. Right and call. Yeah, right get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Wait, to where? I don't know. Go to Criminal Affairs Department or something, maybe. I don't know. Wow. How do I know that's going to happen? <laughs> Mr. Nick, your phone. Hey, that's the Steel Samurai theme song, isn't it? Uh, I don't like the sound of the ring t uh, of the, this ringtone right now. It sounds kind of ominous. Yeah, I know. Beep. Hello. We're in trouble now, pal. I'll, I'll be back at the office really soon. What, what's wrong? Something really unexpected just happened, Mr. Edgeworth. He... Edgeworth? Anyway, hurry up and get back to the office, pal. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's no good. The end. I Hello? He got cut off. What's going on, Mr. Nick? Come, she said we need to go back to the office right away. Th then we should hurry back. I'm scared to go back. Well, I'm thirsty. Hold on. What are you talking about, Mr. Nick? <laughs> Pull yourself together. You give me, you get, a, you get a nice sip. I did. Okay. Um. I have just a big cup of Red Bull. <laughs> uh, probably me should be drinking that. Yeah. No. And give me the gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll be good news. Somehow I doubt that. Well, the good news is what a great segue into tomorrow's episode. Woo! What a cliffhanger. Woo!